What's going on guys? Thanks for coming back for another video. For the month of December, I'm going to do some Christmas themed metal casts. And for today, I'm going to be casting these Christmas trees, right? But before I get into describing these Christmas trees and explaining them, I just want to let you guys know, I just got a new addition to the channel. You can see it right down below where you see the thumbs up, thumbs down. If you scroll to the right, you'll see a thanks button. You guys can send me some thanks. You guys can donate some money to the channel. Buy me a coffee. Buy me a, buy me a drink of alcohol. Whatever you guys want to do. If you want to do it, support the channel. Send me a little bit. Buy me a drink. Let's have a drink together, guys. But let me get right back to this. So this Christmas tree, right? So one of them I made with my CNC router. The other one I made out by hand. I traced the pattern. Or I'm sorry. I printed the pattern. I traced the pattern on here and cut it out with my uh, X-Acto knife. And then I used my hot wire cutter to cut out the foam. Um, so basically, if you don't have a CNC machine, I wanted to show you that anybody can really do this. Um, I think it was this one. I can't really tell yet. It was this one. This one, I used my CNC machine. Um, it's a little bit better, uh, more precise cuts. Um, we'll probably, probably get a better look at it when I'm all finished with the cast. Uh, but real quick, so what I did here, this is actually going to be cut out when I'm finished. I put this here because I wanted the metal to flow down both sides. I didn't want it to flow down one side and then kind of miss this side or flow down and then flow up. And it and I don't know how it would come out. So I want to get it, you know, the best options I could to have it fill out completely. Um, so this is going to be the cast for today guys. Um, like I said, for the month of December, I'm going to try to do some Christmas casts. I have a couple of things here. I have a three dimensional bulb. Again, I don't even know how it's going to come out, but this is something I want to do. And this is another one. I'm actually very skeptical on this one. This is, this is like six layers, two, four, this is six layers deep. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, like I said, Today, this is what I'm going to be trying to do. So I'm going to head out to the garage. It's raining today. I just got off work. I'm a little sick, so I'm getting better. Uh, but I'm going to go try this out in my, uh, in my garage with my electric furnace. Um, so let's head out there and get this started, guys. See you in a bit. All right, guys, we are outside and on my way to the garage, I remembered. Some of you guys might be new here, and if you are, this is called lost foam casting. And this is a piece of polystyrene foam that I purchased from Home Depot. It's actually pink or purplish pink. Um, and I coated this with a mixture of wall plaster and water. Um, you can see a more detailed um, video. I'll link that up here or um, I'll also add it to the description below. But I have a playlist, guys. If you want to see my lost foam casting playlist that has a bunch of different things that I've made with the same technique. Some of them I show more in depth on making this and coding it, um, but that's what I did. And again, I'll link a link, I'll uh, put a link in the description and you can see a link that will go through a more in depth process of actually coding this and making something like this. Um, so let's get right to it. I'm going to start the electric furnace. I'm going to put some aluminum in it and I'm going to bury this and some fine sand. So let's go. Now, because this is going to be upside down, I'm going to have a hard time getting the sand to go up. So what I'm going to try to do is put a piece of tape on the side of it to hold the sand in. You'll see in a second exactly what I'm going to try to achieve by doing this. I'm just going to stick that there and try to fill this in with sand and then I'll put tape on the top.
And like I did before, I will just fill this in, or at least I will fill it in and I'll tape it. And then when I bury this, I will just bury it with the tape on it. Oh, that seems like the tape's not very sticky. It's not. All right, we got to do this all over again. All right, guys, some of you might be wondering why I only put one tree in. Well, it's because, quite frankly, I'm not really sure if it's going to work. So I did the one, and uh, in about 15 minutes, I'm going to pull it out, and I'll show you guys. I'll pull it out and see if it came out. Um, I did put some more aluminum in the furnace, so that's, uh, that's heating up. It's going to take a little while to melt down. Um, but like I said, I'm going to let that cool. I'm going to pull that on camera for you guys, and if it came out, we're going to do the same thing. I won't, I won't video that. I'll, uh, I'll put the other Christmas tree in sand, and um, I'll do another pour. So, let's get right to it. All right, pretty cool. Looks like the tape just burned right off. Um, looks like it made a, made a little bit of a spill right here. But it looks pretty good. So now that that worked, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do the other one real quick. So stay tuned for that pour, guys. Be right back.
All right, guys, here it is. I sanded it down with 180, 220, 400, and 600, only on the sides. Um, I left this little bit of scaling here to give it a little bit of texture. I think it was pretty cool. Um, the next thing I need to do is drill a hole here, and I'm going to get a platform and mount it just like that, and then get a little bulb and hang it from here. Um, I'm going to try to get it into this video. So if this is the end, then you can see I did not get to finish it, but I'm going to try to get the rest of it done. But for now, guys, here's the tree. I think it came out great. Um, so I'll see you in the end of this video or possibly the next video. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Here is the final piece, a little, little bell on there. Um, I think it came out really good. I made it so I could still spin this, you know, set it around the desk, a uh, nice little Christmas tree. And the second one that I didn't complete, um, that was the CNC one. This is the one that I traced the pattern onto a piece of foam and cut it out with my uh, hot wire cutter. So, came out almost as good as the other one. Like I said, I just didn't uh, sand it down or put a mount onto it, or put it onto a mount. So, again guys, I think it came out fantastic, both of them. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for next week's video and Merry Christmas. See you guys then.